Hi, good day. Let us talk about deoxyribonucleic acid. Every day, you encounter different people who possess different traits. A variety of traits such as hair and eye color, body structure, height and weight are all influenced by genetics. A good quality of a seed tree produces a good new plant. Just like human beings, good parents will most probably have good children. When a baby is born, they often say that he or she looks like his or her mother or his or her father. There are many traits easily recognized from the children who resemble their parents. The passing of traits from parents to child is called heredity. Let us discuss about the structure of the DNA. The cells of the human body contains 23 pairs of chromosomes. These chromosomes are made up of a chemical substance known as the deoxyribonucleic acid or DNA. Each chromosome in the body is made up of different genes that determine a single trait. Your looks are determined by the traits you inherit from your parents. The DNA is located inside the nucleus of the cell as shown in this figure. It is highly coiled molecule that contains genes. The genes determine all the features found in living cells such as the structure of the hair, complexion, bone structure, color of the eyes, etc. The molecule is a very large chain of repeating units called polymer. The DNA consists of an equal amount of the four nucleotides that are important to the operation and cell reproduction. Each nucleotide contains three different components, a 5-carbon sugar or called the deoxyribose, one phosphorus with 4 oxygen or called a phosphate group, and a nitrogen containing base either a single ring pyrimidine or a double ringed purine. Let us compare the structure and chemical composition of DNA and RNA. Deoxyribonucleic acid or DNA is a nucleic acid that contains the genetic instructions used in the development and functioning of all known living organisms, with the exception of RNA viruses. While ribonucleic acid or RNA is one of the three major macromolecules along with DNA and proteins that is essential for all known forms of life. Nucleic acid is a large molecule composed of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and phosphorus. The building blocks of nucleic acids are nucleotides, the DNA and RNA. The nucleotide consists of a phosphate group, a sugar, and a nitrogen base. As shown in this figure, the DNA has two strands of nucleotides joined together to form a twisted ladder called a double helix. In 1950s, Erwin Chargaff made a contribution in studying and analyzing the DNA of many different living things. He found out that the DNA of all organisms had the same bases, but the proportion of the four bases differs from organism to another organism. It was proved that each organism's DNA has an equal amount of adenine approximately equal to the amount of thymine. Similarly, it has also the same amount of cytosine that roughly equals the amount of guanine. The relationship of A is equal to T and G is equal to C became known as the Chargaff's rule. Adenine must pair with thymine, guanine must pair with cytosine. The bases form weak hydrogen bonds. Let us have the patterns of base pairing. American geneticist James Watson and British geneticist Francis Crick produced the structure of DNA from Franklin and Chargaff's data. The diameter of the DNA is uniform based on Franklin's data and Chargaff's data that A is equal to T and G is equal to C. Based on this data, Watson and Crick explain that double ring A and G molecules can be paired with a single ring T and C molecules along the whole length of DNA. Watson and Crick kept on reshuffling colored paper scripts of the nucleotides. In the end, both of them realized that A and T could become joined by three. A scale model of DNA was made of how the ladder looked like and therefore the only DNA model 
that fit all available data had peers of 80 and GC. According to Starr and Stoggart, those peers formed the proper hydrogen bonds only when the two DNA strands ran in opposing directions and twisted together. The A and T are always present in equal proportions and the same is true of G and C. Yet the amount of AT can vary relative to the amount of GC in the DNA of different species because the pair can follow any other in sequence. Let us have the genetic code. The genetic code is shared by all organisms. For instance, you want to determine which amino acid is encoded by CAU codon. First, find the first base C in the left column of the genetic code, then find the second base A in the above row, and then find the third base U in the first column, therefore, CAU codes for histidine. If this is your first time watching my video, make sure you hit the subscriber button. Thank you for watching.